start we attained in the middle of the 20th century and this period has seen far reaching changes all over the world there have been wars and revolutions the tempo of change is very great any plan that we make like this five year plan is subject to the great political economic and technological changes that we are witnessing all of us have some kind of ideology some kind of philosophy of life we may not be philosophers but without some kind of philosophical or ideological approach we would have no yardstick to measure things by and at our ideologies and philosophies of life somehow do not fit in with this middle of the 20th century this may be due to the fact that though facts change and circumstances become different we are still hold on to old lines of thinking the human mind is singularly conservative and it does not change easily we hold on if i may venture to say so to some out of date philosophical or ideological approaches take the question of war many people see that because of various developments in the world war has become or out to become out of the question war was useful whether good or bad if it helped you to realize your objective when it does not do that when in fact it does the reverse then no person should indulge in war i should like to extend that parallel a little further if a war atomic or other is now something that can only be considered excessively foolish cold war becomes more and more absurd cold war exists it goes on but really analyzed in the circumstances of today it has little meaning likewise certain other approaches some economic approaches which may have a great deal of truth just do not fit in with the present circumstances the major fact of today is the stupendous growth of technology the tremendous growth of the productive apparatus of society the tremendous power that human beings possess and are likely to possess in the form of atomic energy these things are not quantitative changes but qualitative changes in society of course in india we have not been very powerfully affected by the technological process we have read about it but we have no real sensation of it in planning however we have to think in technological terms for production of wealth on large scale stop